So now let's go over to the navigation. Again, make sure, guys, that you're sharing this link with a friend, with a business person that want to learn how to build websites. Um, share the link, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel because I do a lot of lives like this to help you understand how to be able to, you know, build websites, any type of websites um, that you can be able to. So please make sure that you're sharing this video, you're liking. I uh, definitely appreciate that. So let's go on back now to to this here so we want to take a look now at this is the mega menu this is the menu for the site so you have the home you have the layout now when you look at the one of the beautiful things too about mega menus or menus as a whole is that you can customize and make a lot of changes to your menus right so when you come to the front end of the site this is what the general public sees you can change the different ways that this menu has been displayed. Now, you see this badge right here says new. Well, when you go on the back end here, you click on the layout, right? You see badge new. So that's what this new you're saying is like that. That's where this new is shown here, right? Because it's, it's just the layout. You can change from new. You can change this to, to hot, right? And then it's going to change that to hot. Now, you can't see this right here. The reason why the menu is not showing is because this is taking up so much space. And the website, because it's responsive, it has to show you an off canvas. So you see here, we changed that from new. And now this says hot. If I go on the front and I refresh it, you won't see the hot there because I didn't click save yet. But I just want to show you how that works. So the reason why you're seeing this off canvas here is because... The real estate is too small, and because the design is responsive, it has to adjust according to your screen. So if I go back like this, you notice that now you can see the word hot. But if I come back to the navigation, it scoots it over a little bit, and then it takes away so much more real estate. So you can put in badge hot. You can put in sale, right? And you notice when you put the mouse here, Some reason that sell. All right, let's just go back to let's just keep it to new. So we should see that new back there. There we go. And sometimes the reason why that cell didn't work is you know sometimes they have certain words that they've already coded into the template. So you might you might put a word that may not already be there, a class. So they probably have a class that's already built into the template that says new, hot you know popular or whatever so if you put any word that does not match what they have in there then it, it, it won't show but you can always change that though and then this is where you choose uh the mega menu the size of it so if i click here to disable this and let's come back here now it's disabled that mega menu so you can disable a mega menu which when you put your mouse here, it extends to different width. So these are the current menus that you see on here. You see layout, topography, Joomla images. You see mega menu. So these are the menu items you see here. Home, layouts, topography, Joomla pages, and mega menu. When you click this drop down, this is going to show you all the menus that you have on the site. Now, let's go back to the back end of Joomla. You see how all this ties in. So if you wanted to change any one of these menus here, let's say the layout, you can change that from the T4 back end. So when you go to your Joomla now, right, and you go to your menus, all the menu items you see here, you see Joomla, Joomla pages, layout, it tells you how many items are part of that menu. So this has 5, 2, 13, 4, 42, and so on and so forth. So if you wanted to make any changes to those, back in the old days, you would have to do that from the menu manager. But with the T4, you can click this select menu type, and you can choose any menu that you want to customize, whatever tweaks and changes that you want to make, you can do that on there. 
and then you have the animation there you can have the slide um, you can build more mega menus under mega menus one of the beautiful things about mega menus is that you can build mega menus upon mega menus and you know so on and so forth now let's take a look here at the off canvas this is the off canvas so off canvas are utilized anytime that you have a uh, a mobile mobile design right so when you go on the mobile if I click on here you won't be able to see the words because the words are too long it can't fit in this small section so an off canvas in essence is going to make things a little bit smaller so when you click on here you can still get this menu when you click here this is the off canvas here you can stay still see uh, the menus and all the things that come with it so this is what the off canvas does when the menu um, is becomes responsive so if you want to change the position you can do that you can change the effect right now is push you can change that to reveal you can change that to overlay these are currently the three effects that they have and for the sub menu effect right so there's the canvas this the main menu and there's the sub menu so you can change that to always show to accordion now I want you to go ahead and just kind of play with these and see how that works on your end. That's one of the things too is that when you download this, just go ahead and just click around. Click, click, click. You know, if you break it, reinstall it again and start over. That's how you learn. That's how I learn is you have to keep playing around with this thing. So this is the off canvas menu. You can show on desktop or you can hide it. So if you go on desktop view, right? You can't see that right now because the real estate is just too much. But if you go on the site, you can see this off canvas here. But if I were to come and say show on desktop and I click no, and then let's say I click on save and I refresh this. And now you notice that off canvas menu, it's not showing there anymore. It's gone. But if I come back here and I click on save, when I refresh the home page, you notice that the off canvas menu is back and it's showing to the left. Again, you can choose here how that show you can choose the position here. So let's leave that. Now, I'm not going to go over too much about breakpoints. This is just for different devices and each device have a certain breakpoint. In other words, where one stuff breaks and another content starts. So that took care of the navigation part. Now, I want to say something before in the beginning when we couldn't get this to show, right? So one thing that I forgot to mention is this. So if we want to change this, let's click here. And I want to replace this with this Joomla, Joomla logo. So I, want to, I click on select. So you see it's showing here. If I want this to show on the front end before I click on save, but that's not what you need to do. What you need to do is first... You need to click on save right here. When you click on save and then you go on the front and you refresh it, then now, oh, then you click this save. And that should have it saved there now. So there we have it. So if you want to see the changes, make sure that you click on this save here. And then you click on this save. So there's two sections to click save on. You click save here. This is going to save it on the page. The changes you made. And this is for the front end visibility to show.